Make sure that's locked. Someone try to break in. So you gonna wrestle them? Maybe. Yeah, I can't find my last N95, so I'm just using this. I want to get caught in here without a mask, Eula. Automatic shutdown. What the hell is this? Calvin's own pony bag. This old pony bag? Look at that. What's going on over there? Oh, I grabbed some of the clothes out of the lost and found and tried to make a makeshift bed. I'm gonna catch a couple hours before we hit the road, but that's not happening. Hmm. But, oh, I did, however, borrow this. Jesus, Morris. <laughs> Relax, it's just a replica. It's my brother's old uh, Wyatt Earp toy. Barrel's filled in on it. It's fine. Doesn't even fire. Scary cat bar grew out of distance, though. How'd you do today? Forty dollars. Two orders. Shit. We didn't even do that. I don't see how we're gonna make the first. Of course not. Take out his bullshit. Yeah, tell me about it. So the battery's dead? Maggie hasn't driven it since the funeral. Okay, well, don't get it jumped. I don't want anyone to see us in Calvin's car. You can't buy one. All the shops are locked down. Yeah, right. Tell you what. Um, got the keys? I'll take care of it. And this is a return address. This is a P.O. box. His land is thousands of acres, Morris. The mailman doesn't just careen in every day. Okay, relax. What'd you tell Maggie? I just told her that I wanted the letter from the guy that Grandpa saved in the war and some of his medals for some wall thing for the restaurant, and I just took the keys. She believe you? She just said, I don't want Calvin's mm. things displayed with that old hermit. I'll tell you what, it's better if she doesn't connect us to this um, Captain Ruben of yours, so whatever. She calls me by my mother's name most of the time, so she's not connecting anything. That's good, I guess. What is this now? Hey, shithead. We're closed. We're closed. See? There you go. If Captain Reuben is even still alive, he's older than Calvin. This letter was sent for the burial four months ago. And the pandemic is up there now. It might be better for us if this guy's dead. This is still sealed. Yeah, it arrived after he already died. So let's open it. I want to go through my dead grandfather's mail, if you can imagine. No, I can't imagine, but whatever. We should hurry up. The sun's coming. Yeah. So let's line the trunk with plastic, and I have stuff in the oven. All right, then. Let's roll. quickly because the alternator hasn't had a chance to give it a charge, so I'm just saying. I just want Maggie screaming at you in her nightgown. I don't want that. Maybe <sighs> don't smoke near a bunch of gasoline. Fair point. 
And don't even think about smoking in the car. Ready to go? Yes. I'm thinking that this P.O. box thing is going to be totally closed. I don't know if it's non-essential or whatever, but it might actually take some sleuthing once we get up there to, like, find this property. What do you think? You think you'll remember when we get there? I didn't know there was no road back then. You had to wait for him to appear, and then he led you in on foot. My grandfather couldn't make it the last few seasons. Look at this. Almost 300,000 kilometers on this. In 20 hours each way, give or take. Yeah, I'll just hope we make it. At least you know there won't be any traffic. No, there won't. Oh. What do you got there? Last piece, I'm saving it. Okay, then. Somehow I've managed to keep my bartending skills sharp as ever. Hold the wheel percent. God. Small chain. Hurry up. Oh, you're good, you're good. Wanna crack that whip? You have to drive, Morris. I'll be fine. Why do you need your Wyatt Earp? Uh, because it's a replica and it's worth money. I didn't want to leave it at the bar in case it gets broken into. Besides, I didn't have a chance to go home before we left. Oh, what are these? Injalmi. Injalmi? Injalmi. Whenever you see guys in the wilderness, they're covered in leather. It doesn't tear. Yeah, but those wilderness guys, they're rocking like uh, bison hide. Not called Monica. Turn around. Seriously? I've seen it. Like recently. Well, I didn't drink a pail of gin tonight, so turn around. Fair enough. Was it fall when you were here last? Summer. Burgundy truffles are in August. I mean, is any of this starting to look familiar? You think you're gonna recognize the road when you see it? It was 20 years ago. I remember Captain Reuben, though. He wanted to meet me. My grandfather said that's why I was going. And he said that he might look different, but not to stare. What do you mean different? Like different how? He had like a mask on. He was disfigured or something. I just remember walking forever and Calvin picking me up and then falling asleep after a long time in the heat. And then I woke up because the rhythm was different. And I could see my grandfather behind me through all the brush. Then I realized Reuben was carrying me. 
You know, you that might not even make a difference to him. I mean, troubles are like anything that grow up here on its own. Carrots or fiddleheads. We're gonna make it right after all this shit passes. Get rent squared away, and the lockdown gets lifted, and we figure out the bloody insurance. Gonna be good. And hey, you never know. Maybe I'll just give them to us. And we won't have to steal anything. The Burgundy are under a thousand a pound still. The shutdown, no restaurants are buying, but that's what Ruben would give to my grandfather. For how much? Six pounds, maybe? But they weren't chilled, so some of them weren't used. They just came in cheesecloth. But we have the cooler. The black are over a thousand, but they're rare around here. He's not going to have those. I thought you said you did have the black one. Once, but it was an accident. They were just in there with all the others. Oh. I don't think Ruben knew. Calvin definitely didn't, or he would have given it back. So is that, what, is that worth the most money? No. White, remember? Oh, okay. 10K a kilo some years. But it's too cold here, they won't grow. Hottest three years on record. Well, it wouldn't matter. Anyone who finds white truffles never says where. I wouldn't. It's worth a fortune. Be shit. Let me see. I'm nauseous from your bullshit driving, Morris. Let's go. Fine from there. We don't got the virus up here yet. We're not infected. Uh, you can be not infected from two meters. We were just wondering if you knew where the road to Ruben Lam's property is. He likes to be left to himself. My grandfather left him his medals. We just want to give them to him. Uh, not a good idea to me. Calling on Reuben after nightfall. Wouldn't want to come up on him in the dark. Wolves up that way anyway. We won't until morning. Take him some walleye. Might not use that bayonet on you. <laughs> okay. uh, about 20 miles up the road, come to the old gospel church. Uh, just past the church on the left. A path going up into the woods. A whole lot of signs saying to uh, keep out and one to pick a crow. They don't let them chain it up anymore, not after the accident. 
township keeps cutting it on. Car went around on the shoulder. Ruben's chain cut clear through the cabin. And went four. Jesus, I must have just been here. It's a good thing to see. I don't even know if we would have found it if it wasn't for this. I not to sneak up on him. I know, I just wanted to get off that road. You're going too far in. I'm being honest with you, I kind of just want to find a place where I can pull over and take a piss. Can you even see anything? I can't even tell if this is fucking road anymore. Jesus Christ. It is still road. We can't go back. It'd be impossible till morning. God damn it, Morris. Relax. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. Tell you what. This is as good a place as any. Why don't we just pull over here, wait till daybreak, lift up the chain, and we can probably just drive under it. We have to get rid of this fucking thing. We have the cooler in the back. You can probably just pull the back seats down and get to it from there. It's rotten. Just throw it. Yeah, okay. Hurry up. Get this fucking thing out of here. What do you want from me? I'm not left-handed. No, we have raw fish all over the car. Something bit me. Nothing bit you. It's November. Well, something touched skin. Okay, honey, relax. How am I supposed to sleep with a dead fish staring at me? I don't know. Try closing your eyes. Knock it off when you go pee. I'm not going pee. It's pitch black out there. I can't see shit. It's cold. Just move it in the morning. You can't smoke in here. Why not? Who gives a shit? Kellen's dead. He's not gonna care. Look at these things. Ordered these for the bar, I don't know, six months ago. They show up last week. It's in time for nothing. Another fucking waste. Do you hear music? Yeah.
I don't want the car to smell like old fish and cigarettes, Shh, Morris. Shut what? Up. I don't know. I think there's like an animal out there or something. Shut the window then. I'm Calvin Beck's granddaughter, Hula. You know me. I brought you some things from Calvin. He left them for you. Show him them, please. What the fuck was that? Are you okay? What the fuck was that? It's definitely him. Can you tell me what the fuck that was, please? Jesus. Holy shit. Oh Holy my God. shit. Is that his pig? I guess so. Jesus. No, it's okay, it's okay. So you guys, I'm just gonna take a piss, okay? Okay.
Say something to him. Ask him something. Else. Sorry to call on you so late. We got lost. I thought I knew the way. I came here with Calvin when I was 10. After you sent Calvin that letter, I thought I should come and tell you that he passed away. We didn't have your number, but he left you some of his things from the service. kind of hoping to get some of the truffles that you used to give her grandfather. Well, Eula's been uh, actually running his restaurant since he passed away, and we wanted to put his old menu back up, but I know things aren't going so good right now, and she's desperate. I mean, shit, that's why we came all the way up here. Stand back here while you guys like catch up and show them medals and shit like that. What do we come here for? Shut up. He's coming back. that door. Oh, Grandma could smell these halfway to hell. We want the white one, the white one is what we want. No, let's just get the burgundy, it'll be enough for no, rent. No, no, I'm no, sorry, no. Mr. The burgundy. No, 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 it might no, be enough for no. the rent. What about the It might be enough for two months. No, wait a minute, no. Listen, Morris, if shut you give up. it to us, no, we'll split it. Fine. Listen, we'll split it with you. We'll come back and we'll split it with Stop. you. Stop, it's fine. Morris, what are you doing? Shut up. Give us the white one. What are you doing? Put that away. Put it away. <laughs> no, 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 no,
Okay. Hey, you're okay. Okay. You're just a little bit fucked up. Okay. I just need the keys, Morris. Yeah. Okay. Use it as an aesthetic. I'm not gonna leave <laughs> you a bag of cocaine, Morris. <laughs> You're okay. I'm just gonna get the car and I'll be back with some help. Okay? Oh. Wait, 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 Heels. Did you get it? I got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave you with the gun. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm just gonna be right here. And if that pig comes back, you just shoot. It doesn't matter if you hit it or not. You just scare that bastard off, okay? Don't okay. Leave me. I promise you're not gonna I'm, leave me. I'm, I'm gonna be you're right gonna back. Okay? Okay. Just wait. Okay. Uh, uh, uh.
You should be wearing orange if you're running around out here at night. I'm completely lost. You gotta help me out of this forest. God damn it, I could have hit you. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Two meters. I came here to wait out the virus. I can't catch anything. Do you have anything to eat? I've been here for days. I haven't eaten anything. Some maniac attacked us with an ax. Captain Rubin. Do you have any food? Well, I'm sorry. I can't risk infection. And my campsite's a few hours away, but I've got to take that bear. He's suffering. Please. My, my friend is bleeding to death. There's a giant pig after him. What? There's a road about 10 miles away. I need to get to the police first. Reuben tried to kill us. Well, there's no police department here. This is Sagin Nation. Hospital is a couple of hours away. So what do I do? My phone doesn't work. I need help. Do you have a phone? Yeah, there's no cell coverage. No towers here. <coughs> Are you okay? Please. <coughs> I have a serious lung disorder. <coughs> I can take you back to the campsite, but I can't take you back to the chalet. I can't risk contamination. Okay. Thank you. And for the first ten years. There's almost all extractions. Teenagers' wisdom teeth or seniors with periodontal disease. Please, breathe that way. I bet for the last 10, 
been almost all with dental implants. Bone grafts, gum grafts, much more cosmetic work. Oh, I got to be pretty good with a stitch. Oh, is it infected? Well, it's as clean as they're going to get it out here, but if they want to open it up, disinfect properly back in the hospital. Do you have anything in there, like a pad or a tampon? Yeah, sure. There. This can be yours. It's going to help with the hand. And uh, the compass for you to follow. I'll know my own way back. And this. It's an Ojibwe original. Thank you. that river. And there's a ford where it's shallow enough to cross, but Ruben's cabin overlooks it. You're going to need to leave a few hours before the first light. You don't want to try crossing during the day. Still have time for a little shot, I. Do you have any guns? Uh, you don't want a gunfight with old Reuben. It's just to get us to the car. There's wolves. I don't hunt with a gun. That's why there's a really deer out there somewhere tonight. It's for my cough. It helps me sleep. Uh, we were allowed to stay open for the first month at the clinic, but... I came up here right away. I couldn't risk it. Ten hours of open mouths. <laughs> and I have a cottage, a small one. It sits on Ace Lake. It's about an hour of Crown land and the Treaty 9 area. So where in the city is your restaurant? Uh, Bellwoods, near the park. Peppergrass. No, like the weed. Yeah. When my grandfather opened the place, he said that he didn't have a lot of the traditional ingredients to make a proper gochujang. So he took peppergrass seeds from some bushes growing in the parking lot, and he used that, and people came for the hot sauce before anything else. Another necessity, huh? It was bullshit. He bought it from Chinatown. <laughs> I recognize the stock out here. I ate it. I was sick like a dog. That old fairy tale almost killed me. I spent polishing smiles. And then, poof, overnight, everyone in the world was wearing a bloody mask. Just like that. Now, all their smiles are disgusting. No matter how perfect their veneers are. Mother Nature shakes her hide. We all fly off in the spray. <laughs> I just need you to take me as 
close to Pickle Crow Road as you can. I'll walk from there. Nice treaty land. Crown land. Aaron Rubin's land. And you don't step foot on Rubin's land unless you're in trouble. It's the law out here. Well, he's probably dead. I shot him. shot him in the back after he split my hand. My people have been telling stories about old Reuben around here for years. About how he shot a slate miner and threw his bones in the quarry. <laughs> no, it was years ago. No, Reuben never changes. You like the lake, those hills. Oh, he's here. shoot a phantom, I shot an old man. He's dead. No, you did what I wore, couldn't. I guess so. No, you better hope so. The old woman has got a bunker full of old rifles from the war. Trunks of cartridges. All of it. And this is all he does. And the swampy Cree respect them. Your boy respect them. And even the IPP. And I'm gonna respect them. Where are you going? To get my friend and get my car. Well, let me at least give you a lift to Pickle Crow. Got a boat just down there. I'll take you across.
Do you have enough gas to get you to Rosneberg? There's cans in the trunk. The nursing station's about two hours away. They can call the police to start the search. Thank you, Arthur. No, I can't. Hang on. Grass. Oh, that's flea bait. The Cree use it for birth control. It causes miscarriages. I think he's been moved.
The gal ain't nothing but a doggone fool. I don't care who he is. Who is he's nothing, nothing but, but a fool. I claim that any man who does it ought to get a kicking from a mule. That's what they ought to teach, they ought to teach in every public school. In every school. Once I had a high brown gal Introduce her to my pal But any man who trusts a gal Ain't nothing but a doggone fool A doggone fool Love is true Love is true I've got the high brown blues A bounce dancing called love I can't Got the meanest kind of blues, and if I had to choose, I'd rather go to jail right away. Jump into the cage and twist the lion's tail. They say the best. 